video we will see how we can edit data in our coordinator for crude project so let me open xam server and start my apache and mysql server now let's visit the project in the browser here you can see that our data from database is showing up here now we want to edit the data of this particular employee so for this we will click this edit button then the data of that particular employee will shown up here and after making some changes to the data we will click on this save button then this will update the data in the database and the new data of that particular employee will shown up here so back in our vs code first of all we need to apply an event listener on this edit button so here you can see that this edit button has a class named as edit we will select this class with the help of jquery now we will prevent all the default actions of that edit button then we will store the id of that particular employee in a variable you can see that i have extracted the id of that particular employee with this siblings function you can see that there is a input field which is hidden and its id is user id which is holding the id of that particular employee and this in this input field is the sibling of this td tag and the edit button is a child of this td tag so i have used parent function to select the td tag and siblings function to select the input tag and then i have extracted the id of that particular employee and stored in it a variable named as id now we will send a get request to get single employee route through ajax along with this route we will attach the id of that particular employee method will be get after getting the data of that particular employee we will console log his data so we need to define uh, this route get single user 
so we will open routes.php file which is stored in config folder of app and here we will define a get route of get single user which will inv invoke the get single user function and store the id of that particular employee in this segment now open home.php file which is stored in controllers folder of app and here we will define a function get single user and we will accept the id as an argument now we will fetch the data of that particular employee from database with the help of model we have defined this user model earlier to fetch the data of all the users so we will apply the where function and then in chain we will apply the first function which will get all the data of that particular employee and store it in a variable data then after we will echo the data of that particular employee so it will console log the data of that particular employee now let's refresh the page click on this edit button check console here you can see that there's an issue dollar dot ajax is not a function so this issue is causing due to the slim version of jquery we have attached in the footer dot php file so let's open footer dot php which is stored in the ink folder of views and we will remove dot slim from here now refresh the page again click on this edit button and you can see that the data of that particular employee is console logged now we will show this data in this form but before that we need to change this label from password to email so in home.php view in edit model change this from password to email now we will show that data in this form right here so we need to select that email input field here you can see that we have a class update password in this email field and we have a class update username in this username field so we will select these two input fields with the help of these two classes update username and update password so you can see that we have an object with three keys email id and username so we can directly update the value of that input field but before that we need to store the parsed json in a variable
and then we will show the username of that particular employee in username field similarly we will show the email of that particular employee in update password field now let's refresh the page click on this edit button you can see that we have the email and username of that particular employee right here we will also store the id of that particular employee in this hidden input field which has a class update id so we will select that input field and update its value to the user id okay now after making some changes to this data let's say let's say we have changed the username of that particular employee then when we click on this save button the data of that particular employee should be updated in the database and that updated data should shown up right here so we need to define a route of post request to update the data of that particular employee so here we will give the route update user now we will define this route in routes.php we will define a function update user in home controller and in this function we will accept the id of that particular employee here you can see that we have the name as update id so we will write update id right here and we will store the username in a variable named as username with this request get var username here you can see that we have username as the name of this input field and we have password as name of this email field so we will write email here and we will store the email of that particular employee in this email variable then we will make a separate variable which will store the username and email of that employee
and with the user model we will update the data of that particular employee in the database the key of this data array should be same as the column name of that user table so we have username and email columns in the user table you can see that you can see that we have username and email column so we will write the same name as a key of this array after updating the data we will redirect to home page now let's refresh the page click this edit button make some changes and click on save button here you can see that we have the username updated but the email of that particular employee is now we have to check in the database okay so i think there's an issue okay we have to write password here as the name of that particular input field for email is password now let's uh, refresh the page again and edit the employee give its email and update uh, click on save button now you can see that the email of that particular employee is updated let's test this functionality on this employee sam hello sam and email as hello sam at gmail.com click on this save button and the username and email of this particular employee has been updated so this is how we can implement the update functionality in coordinator 4 in the next video we will see how we can delete the data of a particular employee from the database so this is all for this video guys thank you very much